What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, I want to talk about Soulbound Reward Cards and what their place on land should or shouldn't be. Now, I, I have a very strong opinion on this, but, you know, I, I, I could be persuaded to see... I mean, I want to see the other side. That's why I'm making this video. Uh, but essentially, when I'm looking at the current Soulbound reward cards, there's a lot being printed. I mean, I've talked about this in general. We've seen the, the common cards uh, get printed quite a bit. We've even seen a lot of these summoners, rare summoners, uh, that are here get printed quite a bit. So there's, there's a relatively high amount of cards coming in, and the team, even themselves... Um, I, I know that they're probably tracking this, but they haven't given any guidance on how many cards are going to print, if there is a print limit, or how long we are going to print the cards for. So to me, these cards are somewhat like incredibly inflationary because let's say all of a sudden the player base like grows by 20%, 50% or doubles over the next couple of, of months here. Like I'm talking about real players or accounts, just like bot accounts that come in. We're going to be printing a ton more of these cards and there's no like there's no limit set in sight and there's no end set in sight. So when it comes to their ability to work land, I personally don't think that they should be allowed to work land. As it is, we have a massive card overhang from the previous reward cards from Chaos Legion. And those cards, as of now, are considered NFTs. Whereas you look at the Soulbound reward cards and they are tied to your account, with the idea being that once they are out of print, we will be able to pay a fee and then unlock them and then we'll be able to treat them as NFTs just like every other card in the game. So until that time comes, I am actually very much against the idea of using the reward cards on there. Again, people are going to make the argument that like, well, you know, not many people have even maxed out copies of many of the cards, so it wouldn't make much sense and, and yada, yada, yada. But I, I still maintain, and granted, like, you know, it, it would have to be on the same account that uh, the car, you know, that you'd have the land on, for example. But I, I still maintain that these should be considered non-NFT prizes because you can't unlock them right now. And if we really want to eat through all of the rest of the cards that are out there in the ecosystem, then we shouldn't add any more inflation onto that. It should really be eating up the old reward cards, eating up Chaos Legion. There's still a ton of packs that are unopened for Chaos Legion. There's still Rift Watcher packs that haven't even been bought yet. We got 2 million sitting uh, on the sidelines. Um, and then, you know, there, there could potentially be other, other uh, forms of card inflation later this year. There's a mini set that was teased. I don't know what's happening with that, but there's also Rebellion that will come out later on in uh, Q3 probably, right? And that'll be before Land Phase 2 is out in its full glory, um, or at least around the time Land Phase 2 is out in its full glory. So there's a ton of cards already coming. And I just don't believe that, or it, again, it's, it's of my opinion that any cards that are considered soulbound um, and I guess, sorry, any reward cards that are considered soulbound should not be usable. Now, people have already talked about also, I'm sorry, people have also talked about gladiator cards and if gladiator cards can be usable on land as well. And I think the general sentiment from, from Matt and team, again, in the past, this might've been months ago, was that yes, they, they, they would be usable or they could be usable because, you know, people don't even have a max out gladius card deck. So why would they, you know what I mean? Like, why would you put your, your gladiator cards to go work on land? But Again, maybe maybe I feel the same way about both, right? Maybe both gladiator cards and um, and uh, reward or soulbound reward cards shouldn't be usable. Now that could potentially change once we get to um, I don't know land phase two, but it's it's more of a principle thing for me. Where it's just like if these cards are not considered NFTs and they are prizes for your account, right? For your account specific uh, prizes. I just, I just feel like until and unless you can unlock them, both reward cards and then if gladiator cards, for example, ever become unlockable, that should be the only time that they can be used on things like land. But again, I, I'm open to having my mind changed on that. That is the reason why I'm recording this video. I want to hear the arguments for it. I want to hear the arguments against it. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, I just encourage you to like have the discussion because ultimately, you know, the print rates are already looking high. We're, we're not, we're not quite yet at two months or four seasons. I think we have another like half season or so to go, a little bit more than a half season. But uh, again, I'll, I'll run the numbers at the end of this season just so we can see where things are at overall and what we can expect if the rewards, are, uh, Soulbound rewards are to run for a full year or more. But I just feel like there's going to be a ton of cards here 
And uh, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. But once they are required or once they are unlockable and we they pay the required fee, people pay the required fee, then they become NFTs that are workable on land, that are stakeable in tower defense, that are usable in any other game type that may come up, which requires cards in the future. So that's where I stand. Open to being talked uh, or open open to other ideas, though. So I will leave it there. And, uh, and look forward to your feedback and discussion in the comment section below. That is all I have. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you all in the next video and see you around the game. Take care.